Hi, this is Ishmael. After the beep, leave me a message about a book you love. I transcribe and share at least one voicemail every day. Hi, Ishmael. So, I had recently moved back to my hometown after having spent six years away living in other places. I had gone off to college, and then I had been living in New York City for the past couple of years. And by that time, I was feeling this really strong pull to go back home. And for me, that place was my hometown. I had grown up there, and I had all these wonderful memories and family there and community. So, I moved back. But when I got there... I was really surprised and kind of taken off guard because it didn't feel like home, at least not in the ways that I remembered it feeling. It felt different and I felt different and all of a sudden I was doubting my decision to be there, but also I think more importantly confronting this possibility that maybe I didn't have a place that I could call home anymore and that was really tough. So in the meantime, a friend had lent me this book called Serious Pig, An American Cook in Search of His Roots by John Thorne. I had been getting into cooking and food writing, and um, it was a genre I was sort of interested in at the time. So I started reading it. It was pretty clear immediately that it was so much more than just a cookbook, that this was a memoir where John was sharing these wonderful stories about his life. As I was reading the very first story, he started telling about his decision to move back home, which was his grandparents' cottage off the coast of Maine, and arriving there, he described a very, very similar experience to what I was feeling. It didn't feel like home, and he was confused by it. As I was reading it, I was just like, yes, this is exactly what I'm going through, and I think you get it. And not only that, but you're able to capture it so beautifully with your writing. In that connection alone, I found a lot of comfort and a lot of solace. So John became sort of one of my closest companions during those first few weeks back. And I would read his stories and then go cook his recipes. Um, I'm pretty sure I cooked his main home fries every day for a month. And it sort of got me through that transition. As time has passed, I've thought several times about writing him and letting him know how his book helped me. But it occurred to me that I could give him a shout out here. So, John, if you're listening, thank you so, so much for your beautiful writing and for the comfort it gave me at a time where I really needed it. And I hope everybody else will check it out. Bye.